today we are going to discuss about kuzbek criterion for the movability of a mechanism so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management in the design or analysis of a mechanism one of the most important concern is the number of degrees of freedom also called as movability of the mechanism so you can say degree of freedom is defined as the number of input parameters which must be independently controlled in order to bring the mechanisms into a useful engineering purpose it is possible to determine the number of degrees of freedom of a mechanism directly from the number of links and number and types of joints which it includes by kurzweil criterion consider a four bar chain as shown in figure 1 as we know that each link of a mechanism has 3 degrees of freedom before it is connected to any other link two translator and one rotational so if you consider this link 4 then have 3 degree of freedom it can move in x axis or it can move in y axis that means two translator motion and one rotation motion about the axis perpendicular to this plane so here three links are there and so the total 9 degree of freedom so look at figure 2 a when a link is connected to a fixed link by a turning pair like this so here these two link are connected by the turning pair two degrees of freedom are destroyed so here you can see initially having 9 degree of freedom now two degree of freedom are destroyed so final degrees of freedom is 7 so it may be clearly understood that the resulting four bar mechanism has one degree of freedom as shown in figure 2e so each time two degrees of freedom are destroyed in general a mechanism with l number of links connected by j number of binary joints or you can say number of lower pairs having single degree of freedom pairs and h number of higher pairs that means two degree of freedom pairs then the number of degrees of freedom of a mechanism is given by n is equal to 3 times l minus 1 Minus two j minus h, where n is the number of degrees of freedom, l is the number of links, j is the number of binary joints, and h is the number of higher pairs. And this equation is called Kuzbek criterion for the movability, or you can say mobility of a mechanism having plane motion. that means you can say planar mechanism if there are no two degree of freedom pairs that means higher pairs then h is equal to 0 because of you know that h is the number of higher pairs so if you substitute h is equal to 0 in this equation then we have n is equal to 3 times l minus 1 minus 2j and this equation is the kurzweil criterion for the planar mechanism having no higher pairs now application in kurzweil criterion to plane mechanisms means how to apply kurzweil criterion to find number of degrees of freedom for mechanisms having no higher pair so we are going to find number of degrees of freedom in each five cases one by one means we are going to apply kurzweil criterion to find the number of degrees of freedom of these different mechanisms one by one so let's start from the first figure so this is example number 1 consider the arrangement of three links 
ए बी बी सी एंड सी ए एज शोन इन फिगर एंड ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस दिस इज द गुड्स फेक क्राइटेरियन टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम सो इन दिस फिगर नंबर ऑफ लिंक्स आर थ्री सो वी कैन से एल इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड नंबर ऑफ बाइनरी जॉइंट्स आर ऑल्सो थ्री हियर यू कैन सी टर्निंग पैर्स एंड यू नो दैट टर्निंग पैर्स आर दी लोअर पैर्स एंड सो दैट यू कैन से इट इज बाइनरी जॉइंट सो यू कैन से फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन नंबर वन इफ यू पुट एल इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड जे इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई देन यू विल गेट एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स द मेकेनिजम forms a structure and no relative motion between the links is possible so if degrees of freedom is equal to 0 that means you can say the mechanism forms a structure and having no any relative motion between links next example 2 so consider the arrangement of four links ab bc cd and da as shown in figure already we have discussed this is the good back criterion let's say it is equation number 1 so here you can say number of links are 4 number of binary joints are also 4 at a b c and d so from equation number 1 if i put l is equal to 4 and j is equal to 4 and simplify so you will get n is equal to 1 so number of degrees of freedom is equal to 1 in this mechanism so here n is equal to 1 means the mechanism can be driven by a single input motion or you can say single input parameter so here you can say ad having single input parameter that is a rotational motion theta and so that you can define the position of the remaining links so only one input parameter is required and so that you can say degree of freedom is equal to 1 next example 3 consider the arrangement of four links ab bc cd de and ea as shown in figure and already we know that this is the kurz break criterion let's say it is equation number 1 so from this figure you can see number of links are 5 number of binary joints are also 5 so from equation number 1 if i put the value l is equal to 5 and j is equal to 5 so if you simplify then you will get n is equal to 2 so here n is equal to 2 means two separate input motions are necessary to produce constrained motion or this mechanism so it is like that two input parameters are required theta 1 and theta 2 that means rotational motion of link ea and link bc next example 4 consider the arrangement of four links ab bc cd and da as shown in figure here this is also one more link ca already we know that this is the kurz beck criterion and say it equation number 1 so from this figure i can say number of links are 5 ab bc cd da and ca number of binary joints so very important point here number of binary joints are 6 because there are two binary joints at point b and d here you can see and two ternary joints at point a and c and you know that ternary joints are equivalent to two times binary joints so equivalent number of binary joints is equal to 6 so from equation number 1 if i put l is equal to 5 and j is equal to 6 then i will get n is equal to 0 so here n is equal to 0 means the mechanism forms a structure 
and no relative motion between the links is possible. Now next, example number 5. Consider the arrangement of four links A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A as shown in figure. This is the Kurzweil criterion. Let's say equation number 1. Now from this figure you can say number of links are 6. Number of binary joints J is equal to 8. This is very important and interesting. There are 4 ternary joints at A, B, C and D. And as we have discussed that ternary joints are actually equivalent to 2 times binary joints. And so that there are 8 equivalent binary joints. So you can say J is equal to 8. From equation number 1, if I put the value L is equal to 6 and J is equal to 8, so that I will get N is equal to minus 1. So here N is equal to minus 1 means there are redundant constraints in the chain and it forms a statically indeterminate structure. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.